Have you ever been in a situation where you really needed a flashlight only to find that the batteries were dead? When you replace them with fresh batteries, you're providing it with the energy it needs to function. But what is it about those batteries that allows them to power the flashlight? The answer is voltage. Voltage is the force that drives electric current through a circuit, and it's what allows batteries to power devices around us, like remote control, laptop, handphone, and others. Today, we will introduce what is voltage, current and resistance in a simpler way and how they can be related to each other using Ohm's law. From there, we will be using the analogy of water system to explain the concept of electricity. And lastly, we will discuss about the importance of understanding the V equals to IR that concludes our videos. Without further delay, let us start our discussion today. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss any update. What is voltage, current and resistance? You might have noticed that different electronic devices have different voltage and current ratings listed on their labels. But what do these numbers mean? The voltage rating tells you how much electrical potential is required to power the device. Different devices require different levels of voltage to function properly. For example, a smartphone might have a voltage rating of 5 volts. A laptop, on the other hand, might have a voltage rating of 19 volts. Likewise, the current rating, on the other hand, tells you how much electric current the device requires to function properly. Actually, voltage and current can be related to each other based on Ohm's law. Voltage is measured in volts and represents the electrical potential difference between two points in a circuit. Current is measured in amperes and represents the flow of electric charge. Resistance is measured in ohms and represents how difficult it is for electric current to flow. Ohm's law states that the current flowing through a circuit is directly proportional to the voltage applied, and inversely proportional to the resistance of the circuit. This means that if we increase the voltage, the current will also increase, if the resistance is at constant. However, if we increase the resistance, the current will decrease, if the voltage is at constant. To understand this concept, Let's take a look at a simple circuit with a battery, a cable, and a light bulb. The battery has a voltage, which determines how much electrical energy it can provide to the circuit. The cable connects the battery to the bulb and allows the electric current to flow. The light bulb has a resistance and represents the opposition to the flow of electric current. When we complete the circuit by turning on the switch, the electric current starts to flow. Now, let's apply Ohm's law to this circuit. Let's say the battery has a voltage of 1.5 volts and the bulb has a resistance of 5 ohms. Using Ohm's law, we can calculate the current flowing through the circuit. I equals V divided by R, which gives us 0.3 amps of current. Now, let's see what happens when we increase the voltage in our circuit. By adding another battery, the voltage of the circuit is doubled to 3 volts. And the current will be doubled also to 0.6 amps based on Ohm's law, making the bulb shine brighter. But we need to be careful when increasing the voltage in a circuit. Too much voltage can cause damage to the components or even start a fire. What happens when we increase the resistance in our circuit? If we maintain the voltage at 1.5 volts and add one more bulb, the resistance is doubled to 10 ohms, and the current will be halved to 0.15 amps. Therefore, the bulb will appear dimmer. So, in this simple circuit, 
we can see how Ohm's law helps us understand the relationship between voltage, current, and resistance. By knowing the voltage and resistance, we can calculate the current flowing through the circuit. To better understand the concept of voltage, current, and resistance, let's compare it to a water system. Just like a water tank placed on the roof, the potential energy due to its position above the ground level allows water to flow through the pipes. Similarly, a battery provides voltage or electrical potential energy that drives electric current to flow through the cable. However, just like a filter, such as stone, in a water pipe can restrict the flow of water. Resistance such as the filament of light bulb can restrict the flow of electric current. If we place the water tank at a higher building, we increase the potential energy and the rate of flow of water. Just like adding more batteries to increase the voltage and current flow. If we maintain the height of the building and change the filter in water pipe by adding in sand, it will further reduce the flow rate of water. This is similar to increasing the resistance by adding more bulb and the higher resistance reduces the flow of electric current. So, that's the basics of voltage, current, and resistance, and how they work together in an electrical system. Just like a water system, the flow of electricity is essential for our daily lives. Understanding how these systems work can help us make informed decisions and troubleshoot any problems that may arise. In the beginning of this video, we learned that every electronics device has their own voltage and current rating listed on their labels. It's important to pay attention to these voltage and current ratings when choosing a power source for your devices. If you use a power source with the wrong voltage or current rating, the devices might not be able to start up if voltage is too low, or you could damage the device or even start a fire if the voltage is too high. For example, if you connect the 1.5 volts battery to a bulb that require 9 volts to operate, the bulb might not light up due to too low electric current flowing through it. Just like if you place the water tank very low, the potential energy is not enough, and the water flow is very weak. On the other hand, if you use a 9 volts battery to a bulb that requires only 1.5 volts to operate, you might burn the bulb. Just like if you place the water tank very high, the potential energy may be too high and the water flow is so strong that cause the pipe to burst if the water system is not designed correctly. Therefore, it is important for us to check the device ratings before we purchase them, or connect them to any of the power supply to ensure that the devices function properly and safely. That is it for today's topic on the explanation of voltage equals to current multiplied by resistance or we called it, the Ohm's law. Thanks for watching, and happy learning. Please like, subscribe and turn on the notification of our channel. We will constantly update more topic covering electrical knowledge in future.